Wow. Hello guys, this is Keys to the Truth. And today we are here live from gorgeous Niagara Falls in Canada. You can see the rainbow, a beautiful rainbow that we discussed. You can also see the water coming down, but why does water come down? Why does anything fall down? You ask yourself. We are giving this fake explanation about gravity, which is another hoax, doesn't exist, has never been measured or recorded. No such thing as gravity. However, it is not only due to density alone. That's another lie. The real reason water falls down or anything falls down towards the earth is because we are under... A magnetic. A what? Uh, Speak up. Because a magnet that is pulling us down. It's a magnetic force, but it's also an electrical field. It's both. So it's an electromagnetic field that induces objects to fall down. However, this force can be repelled. As you can see, there's also water going up. You can, whenever you go near a waterfall, especially the, these right here that are the biggest in the world, the ones with the most water volume, you will notice water rising, water's going up. So how is that happening? It's because the rushing of the water is also generating, emanating energy in different forms. If you don't believe me, there's a huge power plant downstream from us feeding the whole of New York, Toronto, etc. with electricity and energy. So this is in fact generation of energy. What's ironic is that this water is moving due to this electromagnetic field that is being generated by the roots of the tree of life downstairs. Uh, so it's moving the water and then the rushing water itself is also generating energy and you know humans are harnessing a mere fraction of that power and turning it into electricity however the po potential the overall potential of this energy is endless it's vast it's almost infinite it's a fraction of the power of the creator it's a gift, a prasad, a blessing to all living beings. And you make what you want out of it. You can do nothing with it, you can do everything with it. That's the freedom of choice that you have. So you see the water rising, it's because it's energized and it's being repelled by the electromagnetic field. Just like the clouds, that's why clouds float. So you can make anything float if you provide the proper energy signature. It has nothing to do with density and buoyancy. Imagine now something that we may never be able to behold. We can behold this spectacle, but we can't behold the water rushing upwards inside the tree of life. Imagine that amazing amazing wonder how it would be something over a thousand times the size of this twice a day rushing up and down the tree to feed the tree the water that it needs to make the moon to make the sun to make the stars shine and to make the fresh water have a beautiful blessed day guys